driver left into the water off the tee that sparked an eight plus minute conversation between Rory McElroy, Victor Hovland, and Jordan Spieth trying to determine the correct spot for Rory to take this drop. And to put it lightly, KP, I'm not sure they were on the same page about it. <laughs> Is that how you would frame it? Yeah. A little, <laughs> just a little friendly discussion between three pros. Let's uh yeah, that's one way to that's one way to say it for sure. Well, can we go back to 18 first? Because 18, he he hits this sort of drawing draw. I mean, it was a drawing draw uh, into the water. And I thought the drop he took, he took a drop to 293 out. And 18 is weird. It's, it's, very, it's very difficult, especially if you're hitting a draw. It's different if you're hitting a fade because you just started out over the water. But if you're hitting a draw, it gets really weird with like where it crossed and where it dropped. And I that noise again. Hate it. Sorry to everybody listening. Um, <laughs> we have got we have got to figure that out. Well, we'll we'll get it we'll get it figured out. We're 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 playing our way into major season. Um, so it's very difficult to figure out where to drive. He dropped two ninety three away. I thought in the moment I was like, yeah, it seems it seems reasonable. Um, there seemed to be a like an un uh, not necessary, but un, like a extraordinary amount of conversation about it compared to normal drops so did, a couple you, did you think that yeah i thought in the moment i didn't i didn't think it was a great drop a great drop in the moment because i thought he hit it like 200 yards like, I, like he, it was a really bad shot it was a very bad shot you thought the whole shot only truck only truck i'm exaggerating a little bit but i i thought that he took i did not think it went as far as the drop was but then I went back and watched, and then you sent me the photo with a little red X. Mm -hmm. and it's kind of pretty clear that's where his ball crossed because the bulkhead kind of is lower in that area. Yeah. So it's a very easy visual to say, okay, yeah, no, it, it does look like he put, he dropped it in the right spot, but they spent a ton of time on the tee deciding, like just staring out there, hey, well, where did it cross? Should I re hit? All that fun stuff. Yeah, Spieth, Spieth was getting a little existential on it and like hollering, not hollering, but he was doing Spieth things. And uh, it, it's it's so hard. Like, it's hard for them to tell. And, and you and I are trying to do like piece together shot link and TV and like all this, all this stuff. Um, I, I thought, yeah, I thought it was like, and he kind of dropped where he said, he's like, I think it was between the birds and the red stake. And that's basically where he dropped it between the birds and the red stake. It was, I think, 160 out. So 160 away from the tee is where he dropped, which I think watching it again, that seems a little far for where I like where I thought the ball started drawing. But then when you look at it's it, it's impossible to tell on TV. So I don't want to get into like, OK, it was 10 yards, whatever. The point, I think, is that there there seemed to be a little bit of consternation within the group about that whole thing that wasn't a big deal, but also was a little abnormal from what you normally see on, on the PGA Tour. That was the seed. And the seed grew into a beautiful flower, number <laughs> seven, and Rory again hit one left. Now, this this conversation was not about whether his ball covered the water. It did. We saw it bounce. Okay. Television. Uh, hold that thought. Keep going. The real dilemma is whether the ball bounced above the red line, meaning it carried the red line and he could drop on the opposite side of the red line, or if it bounced on land and did not cover the red line which means what he would have to go he'd have to go all the way back it did not cover the hazard so this one i've gone back and forth on and this one's harder to well they're both very difficult to tell this one's weird because i don't totally know the angle of like the angle we have is from the side so it's really bad in terms of i don't i don't he said it. Every, I think everybody said it was drawing into the water, right? So you you would. I just don't know the angle of the tee shot into that bunker and then into the water. Does that make sense? 
Yes. Like it, I, I can't tell if it's like in or, or out or like it's a straight line. Like that to me is weird. And I mean, where do we even want to start with this? Because he, well, I'll tell you what. So, so it, it looked like it was going to be a pretty standard drop. I, I thought it would, I actually thought the ball was in the bunker after like, at, cause it bounced and you're like, Oh, that looked like it kind of hopped up a little and then died down. Yeah. Now. So Rory's already got what he thinks is his ball in play. And that's when Victor kind of walks over and is like, did his little Victor thing. <laughs> did his little, are we, are we all good with that? Are we all good with that spot? I don't know. I don't know. I'm just asking. Are I'm just asking questions. Are we good with that spot? And that's when speed. And this is what this is what I think kind of escalated the situation. Yeah. Well, leave it to speed. He comes flying over. Yeah. Like a bat out of hell. Yeah. Claiming <laughs> these hundred guys over here saw everything perfectly. I don't want to. You know, he goes. I don't want to be hypocritical. But going back to eight, I mean, he is just full on running the show here. It was, it was a, not aggressive, but it was, it was, it was interesting. He was sure he, he, we were texting about this. He was clearly still perturbed about 18 Yes, and him and Harry were not, uh, <clears throat> I don't think they were on the same page. No. Um, I, kind of went back and forth on this at first i thought it was kind of kind of a weird drop and then i was like oh it was it was fine but then they just did this thing on golf, right before we came on i was trying to finish up my article and they've got johnson wagner throwing golf balls into the side of a hill on golf joe the tournament's still going on there's guys on 18. they're throwing ball it's like the sapruder film somebody somebody tweeted at me and said is there a second hitter on the hill <laughs> So they're throwing balls in the side of the hill. And actually the one he threw below the line most resembled what the video showed. Yes. Did you, did you see this? I did. And I was, cause th I saw it and I laughed because they were, ex I mean, the, the experiment he was trying to, to run is you're not going to be able to see this. It, golf ball. It did not go like that. And it, you could see the golf ball, but I do not necessarily want to put a lot of, a lot of, uh, you know, credence in Johnson Wagner trying to throw the ball as hard as a golf ball would land from 300 yards away. He was, he looked like he was trying to hit 90 on the gun, like just firing rockets. It was bounced like 15 feet in the air. Yes. So I guess my thing with this is like you said it, it, and I think, I think this is what Rory was getting at is like, listen, even if it didn't land above the line, it's still covered land because it because it bounced it, it, it literally like it literally bounced we know it bounced but if you here's the counter to that if you hit a fade in and this is where i don't understand like i i can't tell the line if you had a fade there it could bounce and never cover if it's underneath the line right it's it, it depends on it if it's drawing or fading now his is naturally drawing and he said it was drawing so i think it's very difficult to presume that it would draw or that it the laws of physics would allow it to draw and not cover land but still land underneath the red line does that make sense yes and i i believe my hunch is that the ball the ball carried the line if you look at the 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 view from behind that red line is pretty close to the water like you said about it drawing and it's a pretty steep like rory is like i don't know how Although the Johnson Wagner thing does kind of put a little seed in my I mind. No, I know. Stance was how could we see it from the other side of the fairway if it bounced below the red line? <laughs> I, I hope they put that clip on on social. It's 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 incredible. Um, but all all that to say, like Rory went, he went further, and this is why Victor was mad. He went further back, and he was like, "Well, I'm just gonna." I'm just going to be concerned. And this is where I think, I think he is right. He was going further back because he was saying, even if it wasn't above the red line, we know it, we know it uh, drew into the water. So we know it covered above the red line. I'm going to go further back because I'm not positive it was above the red line. So I just want to make sure. And he, he, he used the term split the difference. And Victor was not down with that. 
And I understand why. I don't think he, I, I don't know what he meant by that. I think I think he was basically saying, like, I'm pretty sure it was above the line, but because I'm not positive, I'm gonna drop here. But I, I agree the term split the difference does not sound great. Split the difference or compromise, which is what Daniel Berger said that they were going to do. Right. I don't like that because it it only means you're the only thing it ensures is that you're not taking the correct drop, right? If if A happened and it carried, Rory should drop where he where he was or where he thought it was. If if it if it didn't, then go back to the team. Those are the only two options. Taking a compromise in the middle it is definitely not getting it right. It's just so hard because it's like if if it's a straight line into that into the like if the red line is a straight line down the down the T box. You can't hit a draw and have it land on land, whether it's below or above the red line, and not have like it would have to be like a like a five inch draw for it to not have crossed um, like above the like land above the red line. Does that does that make sense? Yes, and I do think that this only got as big as it did where Spieth comes running over is because I think that Spieth thinks that on both of the drops, Rory got the benefit of the doubt and the best of it well but i was speeth even making sense that's the ever <laughs> no, no i i don't uh there was a great article in gq about scotty scheffler on thursday on wednesday and he was talking about how tony romo and and speeth back at home when they're playing they just sit there and talk about the golf swing for hours and you're like that sounds psychotic like that sounds sociopathic but um, he, just the, the way he was framing everything was like, I, I wasn't even understanding it. And I don't think Rory and Harry really were either. Cause he was yelling about the TV people, mm -hmm. but then he's like, well, they didn't, it's not with their cameras. It's with their, they, they saw it with their eyeballs or something like that. And you're I, like, well, my hunch is that Spieth didn't like the drop on 18. And now he was trying to get like a, like a gotcha moment. Like, yeah. like, well, those guys said it did, definitely didn't cross, but I don't know, man. You do your thing. You yeah. do your thing. It, it felt like it felt like he was he was popping him because of eighteen a little bit. Uh, I I don't know though. Like I, I it's so hard for us again. It's so hard for us to tell from a. It's hard to tell when you're out there, much less when you have a side angle on TV. I, I don't. I think Rory, as with almost every top player like gets a ton of benefit of the doubt because i mean we're talking about a guy that at the pga championship one year once like took a drop because his ball got stepped on or moved or something and he was sitting up and he's like yeah that's not how that's i don't think that that's how it was sitting i'm gonna push it down and hit hit like it, it's not it's not like somebody that is a, been known to like screw the rules right he gets the benefit of the doubt, and he got oh. he got it twice today. And I think that in the heat of the moment, as Jordan's playing out of the pine straw, often <laughs> got a chance to pop him, and he took it. That's the way that I I don't really think it's much more than that, honestly. The the, the I'll never like I put the maybe we can pull up the tweet I just put out with the photo of Johnson Wagner. That's gonna be whatever happens the rest of the week. My lasting image of this tournament is Johnson Wagner throwing 85 into the side of the hill on seven. He's like, now I'm going to throw this one below the red line, and I don't think you're going to see it on TV. He he said, we exactly, can. Exactly how it was. And then he's like, back to you guys. <laughs> and they agreed. They're like, oh, it looks like the middle one. And you're like, nope, it did not. Look at this. This is cr The tournament's going like taking place right now.